Hey guys, it's Eduardo again. I'm Pinlord on Instagram. I make a living from enamel pins. Today we're going to talk about the best enamel pin manufacturers and everything you need to know on how to work with them. So before we get started, if all you want is a list of the best manufacturers, I've included a few that I'm personally working with right now in the description of this video. If you want to find your own, you can just do a quick Alibaba or Google search for enamel pin manufacturer and you'll find a bunch of them. The only thing I would tell you to look out for is a lot of the websites that you find online are middlemen. Middlemen tend to charge you more per pin and take, tend to take longer delivering your pins. So if you want to get the best deals, you want to work with a factory directly. The ones that I've included in the description are factory direct contacts that I've personally worked with. I can only vouch for people that I've worked with. All right, so now that you know that, here's how you work with them. So to produce a pin with a factory, you're going to need two things. First, your enamel pin design, and second, your factory requirements. I've included an explanation of those in my How to Produce Enamel Pins video, which you, which you should check out. But once you have those pieces of information, there are five things that will help you be able to produce a pin with a factory in a good way. First, what average prices are. Second, how fast turnaround times tend to be. Third, how payments work. Fourth, what happens when something goes wrong, and fifth, how to contact them and how to have a good email relationship to produce the best pins possible. I'm gonna break those down right now. When it comes to pricing, most factories are gonna charge you between $130 and $230 for a minimum order of 100 pins between one inch and two inches in size. That's average pricing in the industry. That's going to be helpful information because when you start getting in contact with people, you'll be able to tell who are middlemen and which factories are overcharging you because you'll know what the average price is. So that's pricing. Another important thing to know is turnaround times. So what are turnaround times? Turnaround times are the amount of time between the time that you confirm with the factory when your pin is going to get produced and the time that you receive the pin at your home. That's turnaround times. On average, it takes between two weeks to a month for most factories to deliver pins for you. That's good to know because if you're working with somebody that's taking much longer than that, you know that they're not a good factory to work with. So you want to find factories that are going to be able to deliver to you at a good price and a fast turnaround time. How do payments work with factories? Most good factories are going to accept PayPal. So that's a good place to start. A safe factory is one that is going to accept PayPal for you. Another really, really important thing is you want to work with a factory that accepts 50% payment up front and 50% payment once they send you a photo of the produce pin for you to approve. The reason you want to do that is because if the factory is still missing 50% of your payment, if you notice something goes wrong with the photo of the pin that they send you, you'll be able to ask them to change it and they'll, they have a much higher likelihood that they'll want to change it for you if they still need half of your money. A lot of factories want you to pay everything up front. That's something that I would not recommend, so look out for that. All right, that's in terms of payment. So you want a good price, fast turnaround times, and factories that accept PayPal and accept 50% payment up front and 50% once they send you a photo for you to approve. So what do you do when something goes wrong when working with an enamel pin manufacturer? There are usually two things that go wrong when you're working with a factory. First, they make mistakes in producing the pin the way that you wanted it. And second, things get sometimes lost in the mail. To solve the first problem, that's why it's so important to work with a factory that's going to accept 50% payment up front and 50% payment once they send you a photo of the final produced pin. Because once they send you a photo of the pin, you'll be able to tell if they've made any mistakes in your pin production. And if you're able to see that, you'll be able to ask them for changes and if they're still missing part of your payment they're more likely to want to change it for you that's a way to fix it if something else happens where you've either made the payment or they don't want to change it for you if you're working with paypal you can start a claim it's not always guaranteed that you'll get your money back but it's better than not having any safety net when it comes to the second problem which is not having your pins delivered you're going to want to ask a factory to work with a re reputable shipper like fedex or ups and send you a tracking number once they ship it out. That's the best way to fix those two problems. So those are the most important pieces of information that you need to know 
that'll help you be able to tell what's the difference between a good factory and a back factory. All right, so now that you know that, how do you go about getting in touch with factories? Again, like I said at the beginning, you can do a quick Google search or Alibaba search or use the ones that I recommend in the description of this video. But when you do that, how are you gonna tell the difference is you're gonna start emailing all of these factories. And when you send the email in these factories, you're gonna include your pin design, which I include in my how to produce uh, enamel pins video, and your factory requirements, which I also included in that video. Once you put those two things in the email, you're gonna ask the factory three main questions. How much does it cost to produce 100 units of, these, of this pin? What, how fast is your turnaround time? And do you accept payment terms of 50% up front and 50% once a photo of the final produced pin is approved by me? The factory that gives you the best terms in all these questions, meaning the best price, the fastest turnaround time, and good payment terms, that's gonna be the factory you're gonna to wanna to produce with. Overall, factories tend to change over time, services tend to change over time, and there's a lot of factory options in China. So you want to email at least two to three factories to be able to get a better idea of which ones are the best ones. Once you've emailed a bunch of factories and you found the one that you think will work best for you, here's how things usually work out. Once you send them the design and factory requirements, they're gonna get back to you with artwork proof of how the pin is going to be produced. This is basically a sketch that they use when producing the pin. And when you see this sketch, it's really important that you check for any errors that they made or any changes that you wanna make because that's what they're gonna to use to produce it. Once you're happy with that, you'll send them 50% payment and they'll start production. They'll take between two weeks to a month to produce it. Once the pin is done, they're gonna send you a photo of the final produced pin for you to check out. Here's when you see if they've made any mistakes and if you ask for any changes. If you're happy with how it looks, you'll send them the final 50% payment and then they're gonna ship out the, the pin for you. Once they ship it out, they're gonna send you a tracking number and between two days to a couple weeks, you're gonna receive your pins. Boom, you've made your first pin. And that's how you work with a factory. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I love making these videos for you. I'm also going to include a bunch of articles and examples in the description of this video for you to be able to learn about how to make your own pins better. Um, and don't forget, follow me on Instagram under Pinlord and subscribe to this channel to get more pin videos. I really love making pins and I really love making these videos for you. You guys are awesome. Get in touch with me if you ever have any questions or need any other help. That's what I'm here for. Bye!